good, sunny, very bright boardwalk morning. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, come on back tomorrow. I'm gonna go do try to do a little Crescent Lake run. Yay! It's so bright. <laughs> Alrighty, well Peter is out and about. I'm gonna have some cookies and milk and some of the little bagel crisps with cream cheese and just relax in the early morning glory. I got my swimsuit on. I got all sunscreened up so it'll soak in because right when Peter gets back, we're gonna head to the pool, a different quiet pool that we've never been to before. Um, so I'm just gonna relax and I do wanna show you a new channel we discovered on the TV too. Um, so funny when you don't just have Stacy on, you find out there's so much more. Who knows how long it's been there, but we're growing up. We're opening our eyes. All right. I'm over at Beach Club. Look at this view. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is still a thing, but I think I'm gonna go back around and see how close I can get to studios. I don't know where. I'm assuming the path to studios will get blocked off at some point but I'm interested to see how far down, but it's hot and sticky, but it does not take away from the beauty. And you know what? You can't see much, but let me show you something. Check this out. So I was kind of hopeful that we would be able to take the gondola from here to Riviera, or whatnot. I saw the one to studios going, so that'd be the only thing that makes me think potentially the path isn't closed, unless they're just running it for tests. But you can see here, this is the closest we can get. But look at, you can see Eiffel Tower, you can see France, closest I've been to Epcot in over three months. These runners just scared me, but let's see how far I can get, how close I can get to. Studios. There's there's the gondolas on this beautiful morning. They're not rocking and rolling, but I think that's the tip top of the America Pavilion. It is sticky. I'm still going. Let's see how far. Maybe I can get to the bus stop before I get denied. All right, I just talked to Adrian, security from Winter Park. Super nice. He let me run up to where I turn around typically, right where the bathroom and bus stop is, right here. He said they don't want anybody really going past there. Um, but there's Hollywood Studios. There's Tower Terror. There's the hot sun that you can kind of see the Sahara dust plume around. Totally had to bring my breakfast inside because three crows came and wanted to ruin my peaceful morning. So this is the channel 29 Conventioneers and it has like almost like different apps of Disney across the bottom and then it highlights but there's one I want to show you in particular. Oh, oh. Miss Run Disney, I don't even run and I miss it. I look a hot mess but finished a, a steamy two miles. I could go more and I would like to have gone more, but we have to check out at 11. And there's one more swim that we said we would do at the other leisure pool. So I'm back here at the main pool. I gotta go back up to the room, changing my swimsuit for a little, for a little morning dip. We're together again. Yay. We're together again. Yay. We're gonna go stroll the boardwalk in the morning and my glasses are gonna fog up very soon. And we're gonna go to the other leisure pool that we've actually never been to and hope, I think this is where these cottages are. Yeah. Guys, do you, do you know about these 
cottage village. villas at the boardwalk? They're called like garden villas. They're not DVC. They're two stories. They look like from the outside from the pictures condos. On Instagram like years ago where somebody stated them and then Carolyn said she thought they were called honeymoon suites. Yeah, but they're like a little outdated but just like night like it's almost like if you need a little bit more space but aren't DVC. I feel like it was before DVC. Like they were built before DVC was a thing. Yeah, it was just like these cute little so condos. We almost. think they're by the other leisure pool that we're gonna go to. And so we'll show them if we find them. Yeah. So we came into the Boardwalk Bakery so many times. We've come here and there's been no options for us, but they have a veggie sandwich now. This is like super serene over here, but here they are. We saw the sign. We went like we were going to Bellevue Lounge. Went to the end of the hall, went outside, and here they are. Garden Suites, the sign says. They are super cute. And look at they have little balconies up there. So like this they're back, high. yeah, they're they're all two floors. It's like this where the white picket fence that like, goes back is your unit. That's cool. Like there's a, it's a little pathway. Then you're walking through a little garden. Yeah, that's called Garden Suites. They even just got a little map. Oh, and then here's the other quiet pool that we've also never been to. That is probably very quiet because I feel like not a lot of people are over here. Right. Well, the, the thing is. Only the DVC side of the boardwalk is open right now because the other side is technically a Disney resort. And so this side is the Disney resort side. So, not as many people probably here. Like, I've literally, like, we could bring James here for a picnic on this grass. <laughs> right? And it's so, like, naturally shaded. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's, this is a much smaller one, too. Oh, it's just pool closed. Oh. Okay. Bummer. Okay, yeah, it's zip tied clothes, giant pool sign, clothes sign. I guess that makes sense because it limits the need to have to clean this pool just because maybe one family of guests are back. <laughs> Do you want to go to the other one? Let's go to the clown pool. It's not open until 11. Let's go to the other clown The other, the other, the other quiet pool? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Sarah. What? Is there anything that feels quite as much like a vacation than walking through a Disney Resort lobby in the morning with your swimming suit on? No. <laughs> and the, like the cast members all greeting you. Yeah. Also, going inside, I'm sorry, going from outside into a very air conditioned inside. Morning. Morning. That's so nice. We're back at this pool. It feels like we were here seven hours ago, Sarah. <laughs> because we were. <laughs> I got a coffee and uh, we're just soaking it in the, the last hour of this pool. The pool is really fun, just relaxing. Yeah. Um, but we have to go back and start getting packed up and ready to head home. Excited to see Eve? Yeah, we don't have too much to do, so just get packed up and then enjoy. Look, the milk, some refresh. cookies and milk. Yeah. All right, we have 11 minutes left. Stacy is on. We both took quick showers and changed. We packed up. It's funny that like we have all of this for our one night stay. Yeah, well, we had snacks, we had swim, you ran. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go and enjoy. The balcony one last time. Well, super large balcony. We loved you. You were a surprise, you were a gift. We had no idea you even existed, but we're gonna soak in another couple minutes of Stacy before we head out. Yeah. Wash cycle. Yeah. Oh, so I was just gonna take a nap. I miss part of the world. I do too. Bye, Stace. You are such good company. I'll see you in July. Oh, yeah. This was just so great. <laughs> she's back and she's so happy. Well, we're back and she's so happy that we are. Also, Sarah's. I got dressed. For my mom. Just came in the mail. It's very Anna-esque. Yeah, it's like all, this is all embroidered. But you want to know what's really nice is that it's much thinner than I thought it was going to be. Which is good for Florida. Yeah. This is honestly, you've probably seen this dress on Instagram ads because it haunted me for months. And then my mom went to order it for my birthday. It was out of stock. And then it haunted me again on Instagram. I was like, if it's haunting me, it's available. Then she got it. Beautiful. Thanks. 17 hours later. Guess who took a good old nap? It was like, like a couple three, of hours. It was like three and a half hours. Yeah, it was good. He needed it and Eve took yeah. a nap. I watched two and a half movies. 
Yeah. I watched, I don't know how to pronounce it, Ad Astra, Ad Astra? With Brad Pitt. With Brad Pitt, he is an astronaut in the future. I watched like half of Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix, and then I watched uh, Ford vs. Ferrari, which was good, but I don't like sad endings, so that's all I have to say about that. We're eating more chili, we're going to turn into a chili bean. And now that Sarah's awake, I think we're going to get back to either watching the last two episodes of Stranger Things Season 1, I mean, you just got like done running around like crazy, um, or, or the next Frozen. episode of Frozen. And Maybe. we might book another DVC. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was looking up some stuff. We did it. We season actually... Season 1. We finished Season finished. 1. It was really good, except for... There's some questions. This is just like turmoil. I'm going to eat some dip. This chip is going to my doggy. And we're going to continue watching Into the Unknown Frozen. We're on episode four of six, I think. I don't remember how many there are. I think there's six. Episode four. Yeah. Episode three was emotional. Yeah, it was, really. And I'm about to start my like nighttime weekend work reports that I got kick off. Yeah. We put on Frozen okay. 2 after we finished the docu-series. But now it's time Bye. for bed. We have two messages because we forgot to take a picture of it yesterday to bring with. Don't be pushed by your problems, be led by your dreams. Ralph Waldo Emerson for yesterday. And today, one of the oldest and most generous tricks that the universe plays on human beings is to bury strange jewels within us all and then stand back to see if we can ever find them. Elizabeth Gilbert. It's just past midnight. <laughs> We're all ready for bed. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.